if you notice I've got several devices set up in each of these items and on each one of these stands I've got pointed a different direction so I have several items going one direction and if and if this were one hallway I'd have this face in another hallway and then again I have another one facing yet another third hallway now if this were center the center I would I would put together one more but I haven't looked to do that at, the, at this time um, so let's start uh, generally kind of have a the same kind of uh, setup uh, with potentially slightly different uh, assets on each of these devices uh, we use K2's Trifield meters, uh, laser grids pointed down that way. The flashlights um, that I'm not really 100% sold on, but I I have them just in case. Uh, and then the REM pod mel meter in the middle, uh, static detector, some audio going so that I've got things captured this direction. And I have very similar things set up here on this side. I have the flashlights, and audio. I have uh, the natural the natural uh, tri-field meter here some laser grids uh, the mel meter this is the latest and greatest version um, a couple k2s usually I spread them out a little bit but I had the the natural there anyway so I wasn't so concerned but that's not the only thing to this this uh, I, what I call a kitchen uh, th basically you're throwing everything at a situation other than the kitchen sink so I've got this face this way I've got this at another area and I've got this going to another area what you're not looking at is the things that I'm going to put out in front so in each one of these I'll have something similar to the geophone to sense motion so that I can tell if somebody's uh, walking down a hallway or something of that nature obviously you have to validate that with other sources to make sure it's not natural and then on each one I I have a different kind of REM pod uh, out placed in front of the device along with the unique static detectors the digital dowsing has has placed or put together plus I'll have various motion sensors that will be set up down the hallway face this way so I have several uh, more to add to each one of the hallways and then if you notice I have almost the same setup here except for I have a different kind of REM device here so this is a proximity sensor and then I have the motions going this direction often what happens is the the frog or one of these other items will act as a trigger object down the hallway They'll come in and, and be curious and try to interact with the frog or one of these items, the REM pod, and uh, they'll end up activating equipment. And then yet one more, you see pretty much the same assets, just a different kind of REM, REM device out front. So I've got a three-prong attack of various assets to go all around and then I can sit here in the center and wait to see if something happens I can watch three angles obviously I'm never alone I'll be with somebody but we can the collectively the two of us can watch all of these different angles and try to capture them with the the camera to see if we have activity coming in from any any one direction and what I found um, since I've been using this, which is only on uh, was three investigations now, it, it works very well so that I can validate uh, with that triple validation of various uh, pieces of equipment going off, um, sensing something, we capture an uh, electronic voice phenomenon. So we have all of this set up in different directions this is this is not something typical for investigation for other teams because this is something that I I've designed to 
allow this to happen so that I have various different assets including audio I have other higher end audio over there but for this demonstration I put my Sony's out um, but this gives us a starting point to validate something the client may be concerned with um, the if you have some other areas that you're you're going to be looking at I throw some uh, I didn't put batteries in quite everything tonight uh, but I I would throw something like this cute little teddy bear and then turn around and throw another laser grid on it so that you've got something cool that brings them in and then the teddy bear as well so that you can see something interacting with your trigger object um, so that's just one what this is what I call basically throwing everything at it except for the kitchen sink uh, this is a technique that I believe I've developed just because I have the assets and I like to validate that equipment does work properly so this gives me an indication of what does and doesn't work on top of that I'll generally throw a spirit box uh, with speaker on each one of these devices if necessary if I need to put these in different locations one by one so that I can have a spirit box here ready to go with speaker if I have people in different locations so if I have people on different floors I can have this set up ready and I can rotate my I can rotate my investigators out without changing all the equipment out unless they need batteries but this is something that's very very feasible very doable and these are very very lightweight these these units are not extremely heavy even though they look quite bulky uh, but generally these will be stationary but you can use them depending on what you attach to them um, as a walking around grid search device but uh, you just have to watch out what you're putting on them so that you don't uh, uh, get false readings all right so that's pretty much it uh once again this is sean crochet um with colorado paranormal society i just wanted to put this video out here to kind of demonstrate some of the different uh techniques or one of the things that i like to do to try to get that validation you know the multiple validation of something going on in a location um audio and evp is is generally easiest to catch but uh interaction with the equipment is not as um i i'd say it's not quite as rapid to come uh so this this allows me uh the multiple validation of various factors so that i can say oh boy this this piece of equipment went off this piece went off and then i have evps plus i was sensing something so that i've got all sorts of factors saying we definitely have some activity so um, well I just like to say thank you for watching and uh, I hope this is interesting to you um, try to do things that are new to the field and uh, kind of set things one step further to try to capture data without using a single piece of equipment I know that not everybody has access to multiple pieces of equipment like this but I happen to be fortunate enough to have quite a bit. So um, this is my technique. You have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.